Hi everyone! Welcome back to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's social butterfly son takes just after his parents. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. At least that's how the saying goes. It's not always true, though. Sometimes kids don't turn out like their parents. Personality is a complicated thing, and children sometimes have very different personality traits than their predecessors. That doesn't seem to be the case for baby Archie. Even though he's still little, he's already being compared to his mom, Meghan Markle, and dad, Prince Harry. Apparently seven, month, old Archie takes after his famous parents, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. He is quite the people person, even at such a young age. Baby Archie is a social butterfly. Those who know Archie are impressed by how friendly he is. Babies can get nervous around strangers, and may not like to be held by anyone but mom or dad. Archie isn't like that. And his sire who knows Archie told us weekly. He loves being entertained and interacting with people. Some children get shy or nervous around new people, but not Archie. He'll go to anyone without kicking up a fuss. Archie definitely got his social butterfly personality from his parents. Although Duchess Meghan and Prince Harry try to keep their private lives private, they still thrive on social interaction. A quick look at their Sussex Royal Instagram page shows a lot of pictures of the Duke and Duchess engaging in conversation with all kinds of people. They're known for engaging with the public and world leaders alike. Archie even tags along with them to important meetings and functions. Apparently, he loves seeing new places and meeting new people. The Royal Insider says he takes a keen interest in his surroundings and is already engaging and interacting with people. He loves to be entertained. Archie had a great first Christmas. Christmas time meant a lot of new things to entertain Archie. And not just in the form of gifts. Holidays usually come with holiday parties. That means Archie probably got to socialize, which he loves. The holidays also meant presents for the newest member of the royal family. According to the royal insider, Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan spoiled Archie a bit, but they didn't go too overboard. The insider revealed, for Christmas, they bought him books, building blocks, a baby ball pit. It's not all about extravagant gifts for them. Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan obviously love Archie very much. They've said over and over how happy they are with the little guy. Archie is an all-around great baby. Duchess Meghan and Prince Harry are very satisfied with baby Archie. He's an easy baby, according to his mom and dad. Even when he was a newborn, which can be a difficult time for new parents, the Duke and Duchess said he was no trouble at all. A few days after Archie's birth, Prince Harry said, He's really calm. He's been the dream, so it's been a special couple of days. Duchess Meghan even once said, Archie has the sweetest temperament. Now that Archie is a little bigger, he's showing his mom and dad that he loves them back. According to the insider, when Harry walks into the room, Archie gets so excited, he puts his arms out, his way of saying, pick me up. Ziz, it's a good thing that he's calm and social, considering he's already a tiny royal ambassador. Those are both great traits for a baby who flies around the globe meeting with world leaders. This past fall, Archie went to Africa with his parents. They met Archbishop Desmond Tutu, and Archie was in his element. He apparently smiled and laughed with the Archbishop and his daughter, in true social butterfly fashion. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are about to make a major announcement about their royal duties for 2020. For the past six weeks, 
Duchess Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been enjoying some much needed time away from the spotlight. Right before Thanksgiving, the duo and their infant son, Archie Harrison, went on a royal hiatus, retreating across the pond to Vancouver Island, Canada. Aside from an adorable snap of the prince and his precious baby son, we haven't laid eyes on the Duke and Duchess for weeks. This break was important for Markle and the prince since they've been struggling to adjust to life as senior royals with a ton of public and media attention. In fact, now that they are set to return to the U.K., the pair are about to make a major announcement about their royal duties moving forward. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle aren't giving up their royal titles. Following their shocking ITV documentary, Harry and Meghan, an African journey where the Sussexes admitted that they were struggling in their roles under the constant scrutiny. Many people assumed the pair might be thinking of giving up their titles. However, that isn't the case, at least not right now. I don't think we can say for sure that they never will renounce their duties, royal commentator Juliet Regan told Nine News Australia. Certainly the royal family would not want them to, of course. They are very valuable to the royal family, they are wonderful ambassadors. They are very, very popular, and they are very engaging when you meet them. I have been watching the royal family for a long time now and Harry and Meghan have a very tactile connection with the public. In fact, the couple's recent response to the devastating Australian wildfires proved they are ready to jump back into royal life. The pair shared a heartfelt message of support to those affected, as well as links to where fans might consider donating. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have a new approach to royal life. While they were on hiatus, it was revealed that Markle and Prince Harry have filed to trademark Sussex Royal as they build their charity away from Prince William and Duchess Kate Middleton's charity. There are even whispers that Markle is seeking to launch a Sussex Royal magazine, editing it in a similar manner to her guest edit of September 2019's British Vogue. This would continue to differentiate the Sussexes from the Cambridges, while allowing Markle and Prince Harry to have a lifeline with the public. That warmth is something that really benefits the royal family. Harry and Meghan just have to find a way to make it work for them, Regan explained. It's just like with anyone in a new job. You have to find a way to do your best, but also make your skills shine. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are set to make a major royal announcement. When the Duke and Duchess officially return to their royal duties, they are expected to make an announcement about how and where they wish their work to continue. The pair have already kicked off 2020 by using their Instagram account to support charities and causes near and dear to their hearts. Also, their Sussex Royal Foundation is officially set to launch this year. We await the launch of Harry and Meghan's Sussex Royal Foundation to discover their intentions, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told LMT Channel. It all depends on what they mean to do with the Sussex Royal Foundation, where it will be based, what celebrity links there will be, and whether it will have a branch in the USA. They are expected to make their plans clear soon. There are likely to be important celebrity links to their future charitable work such as Harry's collaborating with Oprah Winfrey for a TV documentary series on mental health, due to be aired this year. We're excited about this new Sussex era. Don't stop.